Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Serial Experiments Lane, episode 10. So, last time we had some craziness with uh, alien talk and this group of, like, scientists that may or may not have really existed. I don't know enough about history to really know, but it seemed like they were going off of, like, real things that happened, to me anyway. Um, and then manipulating memories which was probably the biggest thing that opened up like more theories for me like the idea that everything we knew could just be a memory manipulation the people seeing lane at the bar they were just their memories were manipulated to make them think they saw lane at the bar the idea that there is another lane at all could just be a big memory manipulation but who did it and why? Why Lane? Why her as as the person to to target in this? And and what does that mean about the parents? Have their their minds just been manipulated so much? Like the the sisters being like in a catatonic state almost. Like is is it because their minds have been like altered too much or something? But yeah, maybe we'll get some more. It seems like every episode we get these little fragments. You know, almost like we're getting little fragments of memories to piece together as we go. But yeah, let's start the episode and find out what happens. All right, we're going to start here in five, four, three, two, one, now. I don't know why, my mouth is like extremely dry, and I probably shouldn't be. If that's the case, I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee, which is a dehydrator. I'm going to take a sip of water. I think, uh, sorry if you heard the crinkling bottle. I'm not sure if the noise filter canceled it out or not. But, uh, had a pretty, had a pretty busy day today, and I just realized that I don't think I've drank, like, any water. I guess I did have a flavored water with dinner, but other than that, I did a lot of work and didn't drink. I probably am a little dehydrated, actually. I'll probably, after I'm done recording, I might chug, like, a whole nother... I might finish off that water and chug another one. I just don't want to sit here chugging water in front of you guys. <laughs> uh. Alright, Lane. You need to find out what's going on and tell me. All the deep. Teach me like I'm a baby. That hat better not just stop there in time. Ah, damn it. All right, city streets. Yep. Layer 10. We're going to get that soon, too. Did we have that last episode? We probably did. I probably just don't remember. I really wonder. I talked to another episode. Well, what that means. Love. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, that's right. I forgot we left off here. Oh, so is he the god? The man, he's the man who created, like, the, like, linking everyone neurally kind of thing, right? And then jumped in front of a train. Right, he jumped in front of a train, right? Hmm.
she has the voice now. Weird. It was like her questions were coming through him, and then he replied. Uh, manipulating memories or I guess nights. Yeah, it's weird. Like Lane is talking as him and he's talking through Lane. I believe that's what it is anyway. That's how I'm taking it. Trying to convince her to be like Chisa. Uh. Interesting. All right. Not her death could be gone. Is it kids messing with her or is it God messing with her? But I'm already standing. Oh shit, do they not realize she's there? Are they all being- oh. Yeah, just right past her. Interesting. So were they memory manipulated to not, like, pay attention to her at all? Is that what's going on? What happens when you punch one of them in the face? Why did I go to that as my first thing? <laughs> It was just him trying to manipulate you. Uh, is this God again? So for some reason, Aki Masami, or should I say God, wants her to do similar to what he did, like embed her memories into a protocol and kill herself 
so that way she can be omnipresent in the wired too, but why does he want her there too? What is it about Lane? Jeez. What is going on there? It's like the wires of her computer like coming out of the house now. Is our family just not going to be here now? If they're all manipulated to be her family in the first place, or will they just not recognize her? Or address that she is even here? Still stocked. But the bedroom seems pretty empty. The plants are dead, as if no one's been taking care of them for a while, which is interesting. Sister's room, I imagine, who doesn't have a million computers. Whoa, the anima- yep, I was gonna say the animation feels a little weird. Oh, is he actually here? Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Playing house. You were. Is that a subtitle error, or is that a purposeful statement? But I don't know if you guys can hear the rain at all. Even through my noise filter, it I see my mic activating every now and then, which it shouldn't be. So I apologize if you guys can hear that. Huh. Really? Is that true? They're talking about, like, Knights Templar, like, that's, like, a long time ago. she trying to, like, things are, like, wiping away. Is she trying to, like, wipe away his followers? Hmm. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> that poor kid. Oh. What a creepy thing to say, kid. Oh, of all the nights? Oh, shit. Wayne's doing, I imagine? Take down his followers? <laughs> I'm out of here! Oh, shit. Is it these guys? Is it the two guys? What was one of their names? Yeah, or at least, yeah. He had a very, he had a very simple name, right? Carl. <laughs> Carl. Shit. Are they just killing them? What happened to that guy? What's the... What? Oh, uh, game. Oh, shit. I thought that was blood. Jesus, it's her coffee cup, isn't it? Damn, Lane. So do those people make... Was it Carl and them, like, that did all of these and made them all look like suicides? Holy shit. Ugh. That audio. Some shit. What is going on here? Is this what she had to do to do what she did to the knights? Ah, uh, these two. Creepy. No reaction at all. Uh oh. Hmm. Is that why Ari needs Lane? I like you, Carl, but the other guy, he's a little creepy. Creepy? Okay, you just hit the creepy category, Carl. Get out of here. 
The father said that too, so I wonder if there is something like manipulation going on. They make you feel the feeling of love, like, for Lane, in order to make sure that they don't hurt her, right? Like, whatever it is that's protecting Lane. Oh shit, here we go again. Is Lane considered a believer? Yeah. Hmm. have a theory about that. That'd be some shit. The episode is called Love. Oh, the power. Shit. Look at the cracks. That's crazy. Ah, that's the end. God damn it. All right. Well, that's. So I gotta watch the credits just in case. I, I don't think there's anything gonna be after. Um, but we'll wait just in case. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that episode. I followed a lot of what was going on. I still don't know, obviously. I, I don't know exactly what's happening. But it wasn't like the last one where I was confused for 90% of it, except for like the mem memory manipulation portion. This one I followed like quite thoroughly, I felt like. So... Eri Masami was the guy who embedded part of his, or like his memories and all that into this protocol, which allowed him to become this omnipresent entity within the Wired, and allows him to be this god. But like you said, a god isn't a god without worshippers, so he has the knights that worship him. Now, they talked about the knights, like, dating back to the Knights Templar, using, like, um... Share, like shared neural networking and stuff like that even back then so i wonder like even before the wired's creation so I, I don't really know how to factor much of that in and i don't know enough about like the knights templar and and everything but maybe it's more of like a like this might be a stretch of an example but actually i think it's about to end that is it guys for episode 10 but yeah, this might be a stretch of an example, but, uh, like, 
when it comes to hacking, there's obviously the hacking where you're you're using codes and programs in order to break into other codes and programs, right? But then there's the um like the the social engineering, like the is that the word? I feel like that's is that the right thing? Either way, it's it's basically the act of like physically manipulating people like it's person to person rather than like program to program kind of thing right but it is a form of hacking it's like me walking up to you and tricking you to give me your password kind of thing or tricking me to let you, me into your building which then i go and access your computer secretly kind of thing um and so i wonder if it's something like that where like even before computers and like these different ways of networking maybe it was aware to, a, a way of like you know manipulating people like person to person through like the knights templars and everything going down the line until the wired is created and then they find this opportunity to like seize even more power and they land behind this person uh a uh a masami um is it Ari Masami or is it Aki? I might have written down wrong. But uh, either way. Uh, but yeah, so I wonder if like the knight existed before this god existed, right? And he just kind of took on these knights as his worshippers. Or like convinced them to worship him kind of thing. Um, but... But yeah, I mean, I was able to follow the whole, like, after they were all wiped out, she's like, you don't have any left, and he's like, you are, because, you know, she has called him God, right? If she would have never said the words God, like, in reference to him, if, uh, if she didn't partially believe it. So that made her, you know, somewhat of a believer, which allows him to still exist kind of thing. And now I wonder if that was her, like removing that belief of him as a god and that's why he kind of like faded but but yeah they they mentioned the whole like playing house obviously like now we know that the father was hired or manipulated in whatever way to act as a parent to lane um same with like the rest of them i imagine like the sister and the mother were too but uh I, I still wonder what happened with the sister, like, why she went into that catatonic state. I wonder if we're going to, like, find out at all, or if there's something that I just didn't kind of understand. Maybe it was just, like, like, Lane's evolution in the way she carried herself and stuff kind of messed with the sister more than it did the parents kind of thing, but I'm not sure. Uh... And then her being, like, ignored at school and everything, I wonder if it is all just that memory manipulation, right? Did did Masami just, like, manipulate the memories of everyone in the school to, like, ignore Lane, right? So she was... It's possible she was still there, but it's also possible the reverse is true, where Lane never really did exist in the physical world, she was only, like, in the Wired... She only exists in the Wired pretending to exist in the world, right? And the only reason people saw her before is because Masami was making it so that they saw her, right? So really, like, if you took someone that wasn't controlled by Masami into that school, you may have seen, like, Arasu like, walking up, like, walking up and talking to Air, because there's no actual Lane there, it's only manipulation where Arasu thinks Lane's there, and Lane thinks that she's really there, right? It's all just, like, a, a fabrication. That's a possibility as well. So, I don't, I don't know which is true. I really don't, but, uh, but I do wonder if, and I also think him saying that you were born in the Wired could mean multiple things, like, it could mean that Lane was a nobody, right? Like, she didn't really seem... Like, if you look at the start of the show, she didn't really have too many friends. She kind of did her own thing. She was quiet. She was isolated. And then when this wired thing started happening, 
that's when people started talking to her. She started making friends. She started becoming, you know, ingrained in the wired and becoming powerful there. And so that could be like, that could be her birth in like a a more mental way, right? Not like a not like a physical like being born, but that could be like where where her life kind of started. Like sometimes there's a point where you're just kind of like coasting through life, but then something changes, and that's where like things really start for you, you know, and things really like pick up in your life, and everything before that is just kind of like just something that you know happened right um but yeah but it could you know literally mean that she was born in the wired and she doesn't really exist as well it could literally mean what it means right is she is this entity that was fabricated in the wired and is now you know given form but, but I mean, that even means that the people that are targeting the knights, like Carl and the other guy, they're able to see her, which means that she would have been, like, they would have been manipulated, too. Like, I wonder if that gear they're wearing is supposed to help them from being manipulated, or if, you know, because if it is, that means it didn't work. Or maybe that's the proof that she does really exist kind of thing. I don't know. But, but yeah. It was definitely a fascinating episode, and, you know, it's crazy how in the beginning I had no idea what was going on, and then as we went, I kind of started getting bits and pieces for one theory, and now I feel like I've trailed off to a few other theories, and now I feel like there's, like, five possibilities as to what could be happening here, and now I see why people say that, like, when you finish this show, maybe, like, watch it one more time, and then maybe look up some stuff of what other people say, so definitely interesting but i think that's gonna be it for me guys i don't really have much more to say uh like all the knights being you know killed but it being a suicide is is crazy as well and i wonder how lane feels about like causing that because obviously like it's not her fault that these people went and killed those people like she put the information out there but i feel like there are still people that would feel guilty about that and be like oh no i got these people killed because i decided to put this info out there Right? Like, I don't know that Lane actually wanted them killed the way that she said, like, why did you do that kind of thing when Carl showed up. But, uh, but yeah. And I do wonder if the whole love thing is a way to manipulate the people, like, make them feel this love for Lane so that way they don't kill them. Like, a way of Masami trying to protect Lane. Because, like, uh, Carl said, or maybe it was the other guy that said you have, like, a god protecting you. Or something like that. It, it could be something like that. Same with the father said, like, you know, I love you and everything. So I, and then it was interesting having that tie back to Masumi being like, love me, Lane, kind of thing. Uh, trying to, like, request that love back, maybe as a way of protecting himself. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, I'm sure there's like a lot of deeper things you can look at with that love angle that maybe smarter people than me could could potentially figure out, right, and unpack. So, but yeah, I think that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you want to see more from me. Link is in the descri description below where you can see two episodes ahead through the early access tier, as well as my Patreon shows where you can get content that isn't even released to my YouTube yet. So check it out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.